In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to disable the Salesforce verification code. Whether you're looking to streamline your login process or simplify access for trusted devices, this guide will walk you through each step clearly and easily. First, after you've successfully signed into your Salesforce account, let's take a moment to direct our attention to the top right corner of your screen. Here, you'll notice a small icon which looks like a gear or wrench, typically referred to as the quick settings icon. Clicking on this little symbol will open up a menu full of various options designed to personalize your Salesforce experience. Now, while you may feel a bit overwhelmed by the array of choices spread before you, let's stay focused on our specific task. Within this menu, you'll want to look for and select the Open Setup option. Once you've clicked on that, you'll find yourself in the Setup area. This is a section that houses a plethora of detailed settings to fine-tune various aspects of your account. Since our goal is to disable the verification code, we'll need to focus on the top left corner where a search bar resides, commonly known as the Quick Find box. This is your navigation tool. In this box, type the words Identity Verification. This step helps in quickly locating the settings associated with verification processes within Salesforce. As soon as you type in the term, an option labeled Identity Verification will appear in the list of search results. Go ahead and click on that option. You've now arrived at the Identity Verification Settings page. This is the hub where you can manage your account's identity verification preferences. Here, one of the key features is an option labeled Prevent Identity Verification. If you observe that this box is checked, it signifies that the verification code is currently active and in play. To disable it and streamline your login process, all you need to do is simply uncheck this box. By doing this, you effectively signal to Salesforce that the identity verification prevention is no longer a part of your login routine. Finally, it's time to save your changes. Look around the page for a button labeled Save. Once you find it, give it a click, and voila! Your preferences are now applied. With this change, you're free from the hassle of verification codes the next time you log in, making your entire experience smoother and more efficient. And there you have it. By following these straightforward steps, you've successfully disabled the Salesforce verification code. While disabling this feature for convenience's sake is certainly beneficial, always remember the importance of keeping your account secure. Use strong passwords and adhere to other security best practices. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this walkthrough helpful.